Hello and welcome to African Living Abroad. Uh, join me for this quick walk here. And um, I'm just uh, coming out after a week of having an early snow in October here in Canada, it, uh, Manitoba. It wasn't even on the 15th yet and we had tons of snow. And uh, here I am out in the fields and uh, for the many years I've lived in this community, farming community, this is the first year we have had corn in the fields, like you can see in the background, snow laying that just beside it, and grass um, still being green. This is very, very unusual. And uh, if you look around here, you will see water melt melting in the ditches. And this is a spring type of thing. This is uh, after the big snow melt, and then we have a lot of snow that uh, water that melts and collects in this in these ditches and just a while ago I uh, a farmer stopped by to say hi uh, on his drive and checking on this cornfield here and of course the story of this farmer I can purely relate to it having grown up on a farm myself and um, farmers are very hard-working people and they experience the most difficult situations and they're very good at coping with them and uh, I've learned so much from farming myself but as a kid I didn't really get those lessons until now and in life there's so many life situations that we encounter that relate to nature and so what do we do in, in life when we are thrown or, um, a big challenge like that because we can never really plan our life and calculate every little thing and get the right answer. Nature has its way of just coming in between and doing whatever it wants. And you know, as usual, I will quote my teachers. And the wisest of them all said that just go with it. If you encounter a problem in life, a challenge, a roadblock, just flow with the energies because uh, we can see as I've, I've shown you right now you know nature just really surprised us well even though we knew uh, maybe a couple of days before that that we would have a, a snowstorm what could we have done to stop it nothing we just had to stay warm be prepared for sure prepare our vehicles get out our shovels several months before winter and that wasn't easy to find anyway because we are still in end of summer mode. We are not in acceptance already of winter coming closer. But we went with it and we really got challenged to keep a positive mindset. Otherwise you would stress yourself and double your trouble and at the end you will not change nature. So that's what, that's what uh, I'm learning more and more. And I think you would hear a very recurring topic from me about patience, learning patience. And, you know, and I'm going to say right now about patience. And I'm going to put this question out there. And I might put it over and over again to say, if any one of you has graduated from the school of patience, please tell me how to do that. Because... I don't enjoy waiting. I don't enjoy waiting. <laughs> so next time we'll be talking more about patience and what we learn from nature out here and how we can cope with it because nature is our best, best teacher. A lot of the teachers that I have, uh, that I listen to have really uh, learned a lot from nature. And uh, there's a lot to talk about um, in living out here in the country to share about that. So if you're going through a struggle right now, a big surprise, because some, some of the challenges in life, I don't know whether we have a pleasant challenge. You know, it, it just ruffles us around. But there are some good things that come out of that. We grow inwardly. We grow stronger. We grow more patience. A lot of things grow out of difficult situations. And uh, I know that I grew, I grow all the time from my situations, even though I grow squirming, screaming 
I'm learning a lot through just relax, relax. Thank you to yoga. <laughs> I don't know, I think I keep advertising that all the time. But if you have the opportunity to do yoga, please go for it. Because it teaches you calmness from within. It calms your spirit, it calms your nerves, it calms a lot of you. It takes away the stress that causes diseases, impatience, <laughs> and the whole circle of negative life events. So I wish you patience as you deal with your struggles and your surprises and the negative situations. You will be all right. You will be all right. Just like the farmer told me today, he's waiting for this water there to dry and then he's going to come with his harvesters, get that corn out of there, put it in a, I don't know, there's a house they do to, uh, to prepare it, to, to dry the corn itself and feed it to the animals. Or oh, some people buy it and make whiskey out of it. Wow, look at that. Out of a tough situation, you can get whiskey. Hmm, who knew that? <laughs> so what can you make out of your tough situation? It's better not to make it worse. Stay calm, look at the positives because whenever there's a tough situation, something beautiful grows out of it. Yeah, so until next time, continue handling your situations as best as you can. Continue building the bridges in your life. And uh, as always, I like to build my own bridges cross-culturally. And uh, till next time. <laughs>